Hi everyone, hey it's Diane. Today's April 3rd, I believe. 3rd or 4th. And I'm going to show you my seedlings that I have growing down here in my grow room. And we're going to see how they're doing. I'm going to be doing some transplanting here today, a few, because some of them are getting pretty big and I'm excited to get that done. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, first off, we've got some pepper plants. Look at those babies. Um, I saved my own seed. Uh, the orange peppers and also I got the sweet banana peppers and then right here is if I remember right broccoli now these are also seeds that I saved a couple years ago look at that they will need transplanted also but they I didn't think they were going to germinate that well but wonderful salary look at these guys they're doing really really good aren't they um, I will be taken and uh, putting some of these in some different pots but I'm just amazed at how good they look right now they love staying wet so that is a uh, one of the things you want you want to think about <clears throat> excuse me here's celosia the yellow it's a gold celosia let me look here it's coxcomb and these I've always done in the red but I wanted to do the yellow this year because I have the red that come up from seed on their own. So that'll be really pretty. Moss Rose. Look at all them. These are seeds that I saved. I actually just went out this spring and got some seeds off my hanging baskets. Didn't know that if they germinate. But check that out. I got way more seed <laughs> than I need. We got some cauliflower there. Check them out. I love cauliflower. We're starting to eat a lot more cauliflower these days, so I want to grow our own. We have up here, we have some petunia seed that I saved. They're doing really well. They just popped up a few days ago, and they were a mix, so they're going to be really pretty. I believe these are the kohlrabi. Yep, got kohlrabis here. They're really tiny yet, but they'll be fine. They're growing. And in here... We have parsley, and this is the Italian parsley. They're just starting to pop up. Now, I soaked them in water before I planted, and I think that really helped with germination. Okay, let's go down here. Right here, we got rosemary plants. I'm going to be transplanting a few of them today. Lavender. Very nice. Transplanting a few of them also. And we got the new look, new look um, evolution salvia. Oh, excuse me. We got the evolution salvia right here. And I'll be planting a few of these two today. And then over here is just some coleus. These guys germinated really, really well. But you can see they're getting crowded. So I will be pulling some of them out of there today and doing some transplanting. And down here, you can't see much yet, but these are my wildflowers. I usually just throw them in a the flat as you can see they're coming up that and, and they'll all come up pretty good and some will grow a little taller than others but it works pretty well this way and once they come up I'll, I'll wait till I you know can plant them some really tiny ones in there look at that you probably can't see them but wow the germination's wonderful but I'll just plant them in clumps and it works pretty well that way so Today, I'm just going to be mixing up some more soil. I'm going to be doing some transplanting and also checking for germination on some seeds. And what I got left to plant is some zinnias, uh, cucumbers, and I have pretty much everything else done, I think. And then over here on, the, on my heat mat, I have some tomatoes and a perennial I believe but they're not up yet so they'll be coming and right here I made some cuttings out of my prayer plant and you can see they're getting some roots on it nice huh but I'm putting them on the heating mat that should aid a little bit help in um, rutting okay over here we have some cardinal climbers I'm just tested for germination looks like they did really really well and I bought some pinta plugs and those are doing really good. I got some that are getting really close to blooming. And these are a mixed color. 
and these will be available later on in my store or on my website so right now they're doing good they'll be transplanted probably in a bigger pot when we get warm outside because I don't have the room in here to do them in four inch pots so I got to keep them in smaller pots so I hope you enjoyed this video Let me get you over here and just see that I have a little more to do but not much I've downsized quite a bit and that's okay because you know I'm just doing it for us now and and I do do a little bit online but the pepper plants look at them wonderful so I'm excited about getting this stuff going and getting them put in a bigger pot some of them and transplanting them so you guys take care um, appreciate you watching and I hope you got a lot of things growing what do you got growing and what do you still got yet to start you know from seed make sure you go to my website I've updated it quite a bit at picafencegreenhouse.info I updated it and it looks so much more professional and I have a lot of info on there on growing from seed so hope you enjoyed this video we'll talk next time bye